Hi, welcome to this first tutorial video in a series of tutorials aimed towards teaching you how to use the free program Scribus. Scribus is a desktop publishing software. Uh, it's similar to Cork Express and Adobe InDesign. And it's very professional. It has a lot of the same tools and features that you would find there. However, the interface is much different. If you're coming over from one of those two programs, you're probably going to cry. You're probably not going to not like this. But it's just different. Everything's in a different place. Everything looks different. So you got to relearn it um, if that's the case. But it is really cool software. and You can create amazing things with it. So in this video, I just want to go through and kind of show what's going on. So when we very first open up the software, you notice I'm using version 1.5.4, which is the latest development version that I could get at the time of this video, which is mid-2018. Uh, so it might look a little bit different than you if you have a different version. Uh, when we first open up, it says, what do you want to do? A new document? We'll say, sure. Single page. We have all these different settings here for how we can, if we want a letter, if we want an A4, or if we want to do custom and just type in our own size in inches. We can change our units to millimeters if we want to work in millimeters or centimeters or points. Uh, we can change the margins down here. We can adjust the bleed. So Scribus, if you're, if you're not familiar with it, I'm going to hit OK just so we get our page here, and I'll make it full size. Scribus is um, it's designed for print. If you're printing something, usually when you're printing on, um, well, you could print. A lot of it is for publications like books, newsletters, brochures, handouts, even business cards. Um, you could do billboards. You could do uh, a lot of different, uh, different types of printing with it. Uh, and so what we have here, we, we just told it to make a, a regular single page. And if we click and we want to start typing, you'll notice it's not anything like Microsoft Word or LibreOffice. We can't even type in here. That's because by default, Scribus just gives us a workplace, like an, a working environment. And then we have to tell it what we want to do. It doesn't assume that we want to just start typing. Maybe, maybe all we want to do is print like a picture, like a cover page, and it doesn't have any text on it at all. So we have these different tools up here. We can hover over and see what they are. So this is the shape tool. This one with a T, as you might have guessed, is a text tool. It's a text frame. That's actually what we'd click if we left click on this. We can actually draw a text area. Maybe we want the only text to be, maybe we want to create a page that has text in two different columns. So we can create two different text columns, sort of like a newspaper or a magazine. Then if we double click in here, we can start typing. And that's how we would edit. Um, or how we would start start creating a, a, a document. Um, another way that we can get to tools is by uh, coming up here and going on um, insert and then we can go insert a text frame for example or an image frame. An image frame is if we want to put a picture we would just draw the image frame and then right click and go get image and then we find a picture on the computer that we want to put in here. So I have some pictures and I'll just grab this one right here, and we put this picture in. And again, we're going to be going over this more in the next tutorial because we can't see this picture, but there's different options for it. Um, but if you do the same thing, it's just, it's completely zoomed in, and we have a little box here saying, you can't see all the picture. But if we resize this, we can see a lot more of the picture. So if we resize it over this direction, we can start to see, oh, okay, there's more of the picture right there. I'm going to delete this box, though. So I don't want to get too too into things too fast. What I really want to show is um, we have this insert tab where we can insert all kinds of different things. We can also do the same thing from these tools here. Um, there's If we go over here to help, there's a really good manual for Scribus. We just click on this Scribus manual under help, and it has this great manual where we can actually go through, and it has different tutorials, different lessons teaching about it's not just teaching about how to use Scribus. It's actually teaching a lot about principles of desktop publishing in general, like this color. Where's our um, color management and teaching about different um, different color, different printer techniques, CMYK versus RGB. It's really good to read through this. If you're not familiar with printing, if maybe you've designed before, you've done like logo design or UI design, but if you haven't done print design, it's kind of a whole different world. And so... I would recommend just diving into this manual right here. So you go to Help Scribus Manual. There's also resources online. There's like this tutorial series that I'm making now. So there's a lot of lots of different ways that you can learn how to use Scribus. Um, 
Okay, what else do I want to show you? Okay, and so if we go to File, and then we go to Document Setup, this brings up the dialog of everything, some of the same options that we had as far as setting our guides and our margins. Uh, also, we have like document information for the author and different things, metadata associated with that. Um, we can change, but we can change. Uh, uh, we can actually change the margins in here. So when we created the document, it's a good idea to create it correct the first time. But we can actually come in here and change it too. We can um, uh, choose which fonts we want to be um, used in here. So we have all these different ones available. We can make some. We can just select the certain ones if we don't want to have, be like overloaded with tons of fonts. We can just say for this document, only use these five fonts. Um, all kinds of different things we can adjust. We'll get into more here. Uh, we can adjust the color management. So we can do, um, we can say what different color management presets or settings that we're using for printing, for displaying on our monitor. We'll talk more about that in future videos as well. Uh, yeah. So anyway, be aware that there's that document set, set up there. And then what else do we have? There was something else I wanted to show you. Well, that might be all for now. So we've got, we've got text boxes there. Okay, okay, this page tab. So right now we just have one single page and we can scroll up and down with our scroll wheel. We can also click here and move around. But if we want to have another page, we just go to insert and we insert a page and it says, where do you want to do it? At the end, at the beginning, before a certain page. We can just say at the end and click OK. And now we have two pages. So that's how we insert. And we can also remove pages uh, from here as well. Uh, so under page, uh, we can copy pages. Mm, yeah, we can adjust the view. So if we want to zoom in more, we can zoom to 50%. Zoom out, we can go to view. We can go zoom to 100%. And then also zooming in and out, uh, we can click on the magnifying glass tool up here. We can left click to zoom in, right click to zoom out. Oh. Whoa, I zoomed way. I, I actually, if you double click, it zooms in very quickly while you double click. So to get back, I'll just go to view, zoom 100%, and I can see again. Uh, yeah, so I'm sure you have lots of questions. So to save our file, we just click save here. We can click the save icon, or we can go to file and then save. Uh, Scribbish lets you export, so you can actually save, and it'll save as a .sla file, I believe, is like the Scribbish extension. But we can also export uh, in a couple different ways. We can export as, an, as a vector graphic, as a .svg. We can export as an image. Um, I think we can do, I'm not sure what image formats are supported. Oh, PNG, here we go. PNG, bitmap, JPEG. I'm sure we can do like, uh, yeah, TIFF. So we can do lots of different um, image formats. We can export a single page or a whole project. And then we can also export as uh, we, in EPS and PDF and XPS. That's kind of cool. So the Microsoft XPS document type or whatever. Uh, yeah. And then there's also under here, under file, we did document properties. There's also preferences, which is just the overall preferences. And some of these items are going to be the same, like the color management. It's just our global preferences for how we'd like to use Scribus in general. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of different plugins. It comes with some, and you can add in different plugins for different functionality. For example, like a barcode generator is one of the plugins that will create a barcode, like an ISBN number if you want to put on the back of a book or something like that. So there's lots of different plugins you can read through and see what a lot of these do. Uh, I think I'm going to end this video here. But in the next video, we're going to dive into creating text boxes, manipulating text a lot more, and probably doing some, pictures, some things with pictures and images as well. Appreciate you watching. I'll catch you on the next video.